Last month I launched a habit tracking application and now I'm growing it to RAM and profitability. That means making just enough money to cover the founder's basic living expenses. For Airbnb's founders in 2008, that magic number was 3.5k for rent, 500 for a food, that's 4k in a month. It is very important to know what is your RAM and profitability number, because when you achieve it, three powerful things happen. First, you prove that someone really values your product enough to pay for it. Second, you know you're building something people actually want. And third, and most importantly, you gain independence. You can start working on your app full-time and don't need day job or investor's money to support your startup. Everyone's ramen profitability number is different. If you have family and don't want to downgrade your lifestyle, obviously you need more money. If you are in 20s and living in your parents' home rent-free, you can reach ramen profitability in a few months. Here is a sign that you are doing well as an indie developer. If you have cheese and sausages or eggs in your ramen, you made it. So stop thinking about making millions right away. Instead, calculate your ramen number. What is the minimum monthly revenue you need to survive and keep building? This is your real milestone. Not a millions dollar valuation, not a fancy office, but the point where your business can keep you alive while you are building it bigger. Remember, every huge company started with small milestone. So what is your ramen number? Calculate it, write it down, stick it to the monitor and make it your first target. My app last month generated 100 bucks. Of course, that's not even close to support my family, but I will keep pushing it to see what is possible and I will share insights with you. My other apps making decent money already, so don't worry about my dog or myself. We are not starving. If you want to build your next app together with me and other mobile app founders, you should check out upcoming Indie App Accelerator cohort.